before this video begins, make sure to check our store at gfxcomment.com. We have free templates, free graphics packs, as well as user interface and much more you can check out at our store. Thank you for all the support. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Or also, you can download this template for free at gfxcomment.com. I will leave a link down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this level badge icon. Uh, this is not too complicated so yeah let's just hop right into it. Um, let's make a new layer. We're going to go to our shape uh, tool right here. Click and hold. I'm going to go to polygon tool. And from here your sides we're going to go for 6 obviously. I'm going to click and hold uh, and then and then hold shift and alt. Okay, we're gonna drag out our shape. Make it as big as you want, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to double click. I'm just gonna double click and change my color to white. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you guys have this, but I'm going to use a script, which, which will help me round my corners. All right, so here's my little tool. Um, you guys can find this online for Photoshop. I'm just gonna hit round. You see it rounds it off, uh, 25. This makes it a bit more cartoony. Uh, it's not really that important, but if you want to, you can go ahead. Okay, so right click, blending options, and we're gonna hit gradient overlay. Make sure it's on normal, all the way up. No uh, reverse angle is 90, and we're just gonna click, and we're just gonna click this box. We're gonna go right there, double click here, and we're just gonna go up here. Like this right here as you can see okay we could also add an inner shadow of the color black if you want to because you can make it look more like a negative 90 for the angle do something like this I don't know only if you want to up to you Kind of like that, more like the picture here. Anyways, uh, yeah, okay. We're just gonna take this, hit Control J to make a copy. I'm gonna take the FX icon. It is right on the layer. You can't see it on my screen, but if you go to the right side, there is an FX icon. If you use uh, the blending options, drag the icon to the trash can, just right at the bottom. Okay, you see I'm dragging it to the trash can. Let go and the effects will go away. Now go back to your shape tool up here, turn off fill, and then we're gonna go stroke and click this one to turn it on. I'm gonna change the color to white just so I can see. Okay. So for the radius, I say around 20 should work, 18. Anyways, with this, make sure if we go here, make sure it's aligned by the outside. So, Control T, you can see this is aligned right on the outside. All right. Okay, we're just gonna uh, go into plenty of options again, and right here you can see this is what we're making. Uh, you wanna hit gradient overlay, normal, obviously. Uh, click on this box and click on the top color, and then click on the bottom color right here. I don't know why this is flipped. Let's go reverse. There we go. That's good. Okay. It's nice to me. We could turn down actually to like 15. That's fine. Perfect. All right. So copy this. Right. And now take off the effects for this as well. You could technically keep it on for the gradient, but I'm just going to take it off anyway. So. Uh, take this, align outside, control T to enlarge this like that. Um, this, no, 25 actually. Right click, blending options. And this one is a bit different, but no matter. Uh, we're just gonna take this. You can see these parts are not aligned perfectly, but we're gonna fix that later on, so. Let's just flip it around again. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> kind of weird. 
Anyways, get this little top color here. Like that. Alright, uh, okay, I'm just gonna shrink this just by a little bit to fix that. So, issues there. Anyways, this looks good to me. Um, oh, I forgot. Inside blending options, there's this little inner shadow. You can also add this color white, normal, choke up. I like that right here. It doesn't on, it does on the bottom too, but I guess it's fine. Let's go over there. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, that looks nice. Make a layer underneath everything else. We're gonna take our pen tool and we'll go shape right here. Make my color white. I'm just gonna click and click and drag down right here to make ourselves this nice little shape on the side. We're gonna take this and just make a color blue. This is going to go right here. I'm going to right click and copy layer style on this one so I can paste it here. So it looks like this. Uh, you can take off the gradient overlay. I just want to take the shadow and the shadow. And then move this to uh, 90. Kind of like that. There we go. Okay. Copy, Control T, right click, click horizontal. So this goes right here. Right, so we have the foundation complete. Uh, I noticed there's this little shadow here we've got to add in this shape. So let's go ahead and add that real quick. Let's go in a shadow. Color will be black. Angle will be 90. Right there, let's go black. Or normal is fine, actually. So this goes right here. Actually, if we just make the color darker, that's better. <laughs> there we go. All right, that was good to me. Now we are nearly complete. We're gonna move on to this shape in the middle. So make a new layer. And this time we can use our right angle tool and just shift all in the center now we go control T, change the angle right here to 45. Hit OK. Let's see. We have our, ourselves a nice little shape. All right. Control T to enlarge this to our shape here. And let me just center this into the middle. All right. So how are we going to do this one? OK, let me see how I can make this in blending options. If this does not work, we're gonna go uh, manually do this, so. All right, so this is fine to me because we're gonna make a new layer right click and let's go create clipping mask right here and use our brush tool my color is white and from here you're just gonna want to manually paint just kind of follow along what I'm doing right here so I'm using color white here All right, we need this little white glow thing. I think it's pretty important. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that real quick using my lasso tool. Right here. And this part is pretty crucial. It gives it that uh, effect, I guess. Oops, that's a bad 
selection. All right, so we're gonna go here. And let's lower the opacity. All right, so if we take everything, let's hit uh, shift, have everything selected. We're gonna hit control G, control J to copy, hide the previous one. Right click on the new one and hit convert to smart object. We have this now. That is pretty much it. If you guys want a part two, quote unquote part two, to this where we advance the shape into, you know, we continue the progression. Uh, drop a comment and then like down below. If we can get this video to above 30 likes, that would be perfect. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to check out our store subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.